WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien. It's 9 a.m. Let's do three quick minutes on the market, see what's going on out there fundamentally, technically. Of course, last night we had France vote, so we had pretty much an expected result. We had Macron and Le Pen coming out one, two, and I have up here to begin the conversation, the euro, which, of course, huge pop um, as we came into. Six o'clock is where, um, six, seven, eight o'clock is where those announcements, the news, the polls started to come in. So you most of the market action being driven today, of course, coming from France, which affects the euro, which affects everything. So here's the first chart we'll take a look at. Euro, huge pop right when it opened. We're trading at 1.086 right now. Um, we're looking at it on the Nadex platform. We got binaries that expire at 3 o'clock today on the right. Jumping around, let's just see. We have S&P futures up 26, Dow's up 213, NASDAQ's up 52, crude oil, gold, of course, pulling back down 11 17 dollars right now silver and the other thing we want to take a look at which is jumping out the vix 1128 down almost three points pretty remarkable uh let's jump around at a couple of these markets that are getting affected by that vix and everything going on so here we have the s p s p up about 27 points these are the daily contracts now with the VIX being so low, some of these premiums I was looking at this morning, pretty low in terms of if you want to make a directional play, the premium you're going to be paying, not much. So here are the dailies expiring at 415, seven hours, 13 minutes until expiration. Uh, you're looking for, you know, let's just say 2378. You're risking 28 to make 72, almost a risk in one to make three. And you're only talking about six points up on the S&P. Now let's jump to the weeklies. Here's what I thought was pretty interesting. So here is the weekly on the S&P, four days and seven hours until expiration. And what's remarkable here is that not an extraordinary amount of premium when you look, you're talking about four days up to 23.90, you can get a risk in one to make three, risk in 25 to make 75. It's only 18 points and you're talking about five full trading, five full trading days and five full trading days coming off an event where we had huge news over the weekend that could affect worldwide markets. I believe we have GDP coming out Friday, which could drive things um, and similar risk rewards to the downside. You're talking about 18 points to the downside in the S&P as well and three quick minutes. But here's gold as well on the daily. Plenty of opportunities, gold as well on the weekly. Same thing. Okay, folks, it's Monday. Lots of action in the market. Stay tuned. we got a full day of programming coming up. Thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m., for this three-minute update.